Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're gonna be figuring out the real reason why there's a massive gorilla located just to the north of Strawberry. So if you're confused in any way, shape, or form, you're like, what, a gorilla in Red Dead Redemption 2? Yeah, gorillas are not in the compendium. They're not an animal that you can run across. However, I was recording another video, you might have seen it a little bit earlier, uh, in regards to that super sad story of the cabin and the husband and the bride and I was riding along and then I got ambushed by some O'Driscolls and uh, because of that I actually looked over the edge of this bridge because I saw some horses riding down there and I said okay that was kind of weird and then I approached another bridge and I found something so weird like it looked really out of place and it looked like it was this crate or this big box and on the inside it was a gorilla and I was approaching this very slowly because I didn't know if this was like a hidden animal that Rockstar added into the game. And gorillas are fierce, and I did not want to get on the wrong side of this gorilla. And as I got closer, I was like, is it frozen? And then I'm like, you know, strawberry's not that cold. I wouldn't find a frozen gorilla here. And then I noticed that it looked like it was on some sort of stand, like it was almost a stuffed gorilla. So it clearly was not alive. It was in this cage. It was in sort of like an action pose. But I was starting to wonder how the heck this giant gorilla actually got here. And uh, in case you're wondering where this is located, like it doesn't show up on the map. Like sometimes when you run across something in game, it'll show up. It's like just above Strawberry and it's to the east of Mount Shan. So if you wanna find this for yourself, this is where it's just about located. And in like a lot of my mystery videos, I wanted to see what would happen if we experimented with this gorilla. And I shot its head and it came off. And you guys can see that it is stuffed with like this, I don't know what material it would be, cotton, foam, whatever the case is. And there's like a metal rod going through it. So it looks like this is the work of a taxidermist or someone that stuffs animals for a living. And I was able to take away the, the right arm and the left arm of this gorilla as well. But I was wondering why this is out here. Like it doesn't make a lot of sense, especially if you start to look around. Like the only thing that's around here is that like little bridge. So the only thing I could possibly think of is that this was riding on some stagecoach or cart or wagon and it somehow fell off of this bridge up here and just rolled its way down. Now, because I had been in the Strawberry area recently, apparently I had come across a house that I had never unlocked before, or I had gotten close enough to it where it showed up on the map as like a specific spot. And it was called the Taxidermist Home. So I was putting two and two together. This is a stuffed gorilla. This is the taxidermist. So I was thinking to myself, okay, this gorilla must have come from the taxidermist house. Kind of interesting. So I saddled up on my horse and I started to head over in that direction to see what was going on. And upon approaching this house for the first time, I will say it's pretty colorful. Like whoever lives here was not shy on the paint when it came to decorating. I mean, the windows are blue. The door is blue and purple and red and yellow. There's birdhouses all over the place. There's like stuffed deer out front or like bucks or whatever they are. In the back of the house, there's like a panther that's mauling a, a deer as well. And I just thought this was really cool. It's one of the neatest looking houses in the game. Like it's so colorful, it's so bright. And it definitely is like a taxidermist lives here, that's for sure. However, I was kind of saddened that upon approaching the front door, I noticed that it was locked. And I was thinking to myself, well, man, that's a bummer. I wanted to find out what's actually inside here. And if you've been watching a lot of my recent videos, where well, you've been able to get inside some locked interiors uh, based on using a, a really popular glitch where you essentially just take out your lantern, you aim down with a pistol, and you essentially walk towards the area you want to, and if you do so correctly, you'll be able to glitch inside. And I was able to do the exact same thing with the taxidermist house. So as you guys can see here, we were able to glitch inside, and I was so excited when I saw that there was a unique interior here. And this is so cool. Like I immediately started noticing all the different unique sort of animals that are inside here. I mean, there's foxes, there's wolves, there's birds, there's coyotes. There is so much going on on the first story of this house. 
So there's a lot of different things you can check out. I mean, if you wanted to sleep or sit on the bed, you could. If you just wanted to examine all of the different stuffed animals in here, you could. If you wanted to check out some of the provisions, you could grab those as well. There's things like fine brandy and predator bait and herbivore bait that you can grab too, located inside some of the chests. The real magic here is actually in the basement of this house that I didn't realize was there until I went around the corner. And there is some crazy stuff going on in here. I mean, absolute crazy things. So whoever is the taxidermist, apparently they have been creating scenes of different animals. Like how wacky is this? So the first scene I saw is like a frog painting a hummingbird in like a little painting studio. That is really cool. The next uh, sort of set that we run across is a bunch of raccoons sword fighting some rabbits. Like, I mean, this feels like I'm in Alice in Wonderland here. This is some really trippy stuff. Uh, after that, you can see, I think it's like a skunk and a fox, like romancing with each other on a couch. Again, I don't really know what's going on here. All of it's pretty creepy. You've then got some possums and skunks sitting around a table while a rabbit plays the piano. Again, pretty interesting going on here. You've got a mouse watching a bigger mouse or like a chipmunk, you know, throwing some fireballs up in the air and catching them. Again, pretty interesting stuff. You see a squirrel with a sombrero riding a fox. After that, we can see some squirrels playing poker where there's a raven wearing a top hat in the background. Again, things are getting pretty strange here. Let's just say that. After that, we can see a couple of different things like a raccoon and a rowboat doing some fishing. We can see a fox, a uh, sockeye salmon smoking a pipe. A whole bunch of other stuff going on. Uh, there's also, I don't even know what these would be, possums playing raccoons and some lawn tennis. Like, there's literally everything going on here. There's also a raccoon fighting a beaver in a boxing match. You've got some rats hanging out under some palm trees. I think that's like a skunk or a possum or some rodent. I got no idea wearing some sort of top hat. All I know is this house is crazy. I feel like I'm in fairy tale world right now, like I'm in the Wizard of Oz or you know Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory or Alice in Wonderland, something crazy like that. So I would highly recommend that if you get the chance to go in here, you should check it out for yourself. And upon doing some research for this, the taxidermist house, because I was wondering why Rockstar would build this unique interior if you know, you had to glitch inside in order to check it out. Well, it turns out the reason this interior is so detailed is because it's used for a quest line called A Better World, A New Friend, which is where you actually meet the taxidermist. And this is if you're able to find all of the perfect animal carcasses that she requires. You'll often find these animal hunting requests at train stations and post offices around the world. And if you actually turn them into this lady, you'll be able to eventually visit her. And this is the interaction that you have. Hello, Mrs. Hobbs. Hello, dearie. Hello. Yeah, you said to come call on you? My name's John Marston. I've been sending you the animals for your art. I guess you make clothes or something? Clothes? Oh, no, I don't make clothes, dearie. Come, come. What do you make? I make art, dearie. Art? Not art, but life. Life as art. Ah. Come, come meet my friends. <laughs> Come, come. It's downstairs. Come, meet the world you helped build. This is... <clears throat> this is... This is quite something. <laughs> it's my life work, dearie. An almighty struggle. Oh, I love this little fella. He makes me so happy. There's so much life in him, in a way. 
And look at these three playing poker. Oh, they'll never know who wins because they're all dead. Only it doesn't look like it. Sometimes I, I, I make up little funny voices, uh, and I make believe that they're all talking to one another. <laughs> I, I call this guy Percival. I don't know why. Uh, and these two over here, oh, they're prize fighters. Obviously, there isn't any prize because they're both dead. I tried this with humans once during a, a cholera outbreak. Ah, uh, no. Animals are better. Their fur is so nice and, ah. Uh, um, it's... yeah. I think, I don't quite know what to say. Oh, I often get that reaction. I'm sure. Oh, here, please take this as a gift. Because after all, we did this together. You and I are both like God now, in a way. Thanks. I should get going. Yeah, well, maybe when you die, somebody will stuff you. And maybe heaven is just like this. Did you ever think of that, dearie? No, I never did. Oh. Be well. Hi. So that was kind of strange. That right there is Miss Hobbs, who apparently is the taxidermist. And what's kind of funny is if you complete this mission, she'll actually give you a squirrel statue that you can place at your home in Beecher's Hope, and it will trigger this cutscene. What? What is that? It's art. Oh, that's what they call it. Hmm. So I guess that right there is the real reason why there is a stuffed gorilla just north of Strawberry in Red Dead Redemption 2, because this crazy taxidermist lady was probably going to make some sort of monkey scene with it. I don't know what the monkey would have been doing. Maybe it would have been riding a horse. Maybe it would have been smoking a cigar. Who knows what Mrs. Hobbs would have come up with, but I think that right there officially solves the mystery and gives us a better idea of what the heck that thing was actually doing there. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.